Our next speaker is Carl Bonden. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, Superintendent Pontrelli, my name is Carl Blondin. I live on Sunrise Avenue in Stillwater. As you know, I've often spoken on the importance of putting academics first. I'm going to disagree with the last speaker. I think it is imperative that capital funds be used to purchase a bus facility so money does not come out of the annual budget for that purpose of keeping buses somewhere. We need to spend that money on teachers. We need to make decisions that put academics first. Failure to make a prudent capital investment to free up money to put teachers in the classroom harms all of our students. The Greeks told us that prudence is the mother of all virtue. We need to be prudent in the use of our resources. And part of that is understanding how we can use the capital fund to free up money for the annual budget. It is absolutely irresponsible to not make an investment that will guarantee another teacher and a half or two teachers forever. Going back to the issue of prudence, like most taxpayers, I work. All taxpayers in this district work very hard. We expect you to be prudent with the use of our money. That means providing opportunities for all students, putting the classroom first. I'm very pleased with the changes in the last two or three years in this district. I can say unequivocally that in the quarter century or so since I've moved to Stillwater, this is the first time we've had a superintendent who puts the classroom first. Others tried, Mrs. Pontrelli gets it done. As you know, I've been somewhat of a critic of spending on sports. I would like the board to look at the subsidy that we provide hockey parents. It's almost $90,000 a year. What would the reaction of the hockey parents be if there was no subsidy for them and we were spending $90,000 a year on the French club to send them over to Paris for two weeks in the summer? Who are we to pick and choose the winners when it comes to subsidies for activities? No pun intended, but the boosters need to pony up some more money. The taxpayers should not be paying to subsidize a sports academy. That is a transfer of wealth from the taxpayers to the upper middle class. And that ties into the next issue I wanted to address was racism. By subsidizing activities that are primarily aimed at white upper middle class students. You're taking money out of the classroom to help students of color, recent immigrants, and people without as much money. It's racist, it's classist. It's time to remember that the most important issue we face is systemic racism. Our attitudes, the structures we have in place. And I want to thank the superintendent and Mr. McDowell for the efforts they have made. I've seen racism hurt one I love. It drove someone I love from the schools. That must end. We cannot tolerate it. America is a lot better place than when I was born. The country's improving. But we're not where we need to be. We as a district must take the lead in providing equal opportunity. And that's only possible if you put academics first. Thank you. Thank you.